The challenges most designers face when working on uh, 3D PCBs or PCBs that you want to uh, uh, use for 3D printing is that you're working with uh, different conductive materials, different uh, uh, prepregs, for example. So the electrical characteristics of those materials are different from the traditional, uh, you know, electrical behavior that we see in typical FR4 boards or using copper conductives. So we want to be able to make sure that the users who are uh, designing with the technology and with the intent of using a 3D printer understand what the design rules are and how to make sure that it's uh, optimized for 3D printing versus the traditional manner. The benefits of CR8000 uh, for 3D printing is that it, you know, because it's a native system level uh, environment, it allows you to design any kind of technology, but also can, uh, takes into account what's necessary for 3D printing. For example, being able to not just uh, design with the uh, design rules for one conductive material, you can do it for a as many as you want. So you can go from silver to gold to copper to whatever. And the, uh, all the DRCs uh, real time will obey those uh, requirements that you specified. And we're working uh, in the industry to provide some of these rules so that the engineer can take some of the guesswork out for that. Also, uh, the ability to be able to implement you know, rigid, flex, or any other advanced packaging technology, for example, or work throughout cross uh, domains. You can go through and enable that and uh, there's free boundary basically to go through and uh, use that to then go into the 3D side for printing. The biggest trends we're seeing so far in the industry is that engineers, designers uh, across disciplines and domains are needing to work together. When we start looking at the product development cycle, there's a big pressure to always continue to reduce that time to market. So when we look at that, that's meaning engineers have to work more closely together, you know, coming from discipline, you know, chip designers have to work with package designer versus PCB designers versus mechanical versus software. So all those different disciplines and domains need to come together. So, and then we're starting to look at that these are impacting your IoT market, your you know, smart applications, automotive. So a lot of these uh, uh, technology trends are coming from there that are impacting the design process.